Just yesterday I sent to you my five different mini site templates. So in this video I want to show you how to edit them because I got a lot of questions. How can you edit the mini site template? So uh, what you can do, you can use NVU. It's a free HTML editor. It's a what you see is what you get. So you don't need to do any coding. It just click and play. It's similar to Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver, but it's free. So you can get it on Mac and also on Windows. So here you see I just opened the dark sin sales page uh, template. It's a sales page that HTML, and this is the this is what you will see in view. And now it's very easy to edit the text here as uh, you don't have to worry about HTML coding. It's all pretty similar to Microsoft Word. You just change the text. You just select it. For example, your website is about dog training. Okay, so you do dog dog training here. And if you want, you may like change it, you have bolding here, or make it uh, cursive or underline, you may also change the colors. Uh, it's all click and play here. I mean, here I think it's a different, like, um, you see this if you want, and uh, change the different things here. Uh, here's the slogan of your website. So it could be, for example, discover uh, discover uh, surefire ways uh, to uh, solve all the dog training problems. Okay, so that could be our slogan. Then we have the pre headline, big headline, and, and sub headline. And you may change it as well. For example, attention, uh, attention, for example, dog trainers, trainers. Trainers, okay. I'm not sure how to spell it. <laughs> okay, um, and then there's a big headline, so it could be anything. Um, so you just select the text and, and time. Okay, discover, discover a secret and method how to never have these five problems with your dog. And now you see that there's some problem here. You want to make it with the enter, so it goes to the new line, so it looks better. Uh, so you might do something like that. So it like it's a nice arrow here, as you see, that each line has less, less. Uh, it's shorter. Each of these lines, it creates an arrow, and uh, attention will be to go further. So you want to make sure the lines are in the same um, length. Then there's subhead lines. So again, you may you may remove that or you may just type something here. Then there's my avatars, you want to change it, the, the date, the rat, it's kind of like a big benefit thing, your name, you know, your name, your signature, you want to delete, delete this, put your signature here. And here, you know, for example, well, man, some enter, dear dog trainer. And then we can change this, for example, uh, would you like to and then you just type okay now in order to type a new paragraph just click enter and you type it you see if you want to have it in the same program you click shift enter you see and then it's in the same paragraph it's not the new one if you want the new one just click enter so that's how you do paragraphs here you can put like the video or you may remove this just select like that so it's up to you there then we have some of these this headlines between paragraphs so it can be it can be pretty much much anything you want. You may want maybe to make this. Uh, uh, for example, we can make it uh, like this, so it it stands up a bit more. Maybe uh, underscore. You see, it stands up. Then we have some bullet points. So in order to add another bullet point, just click enter and you type. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then we have some testimonials here. So you just select the text and, and tell, for example, this could be like the best sentence of this testimony. Make sure it's short because um, the text is limited here. That's how I designed it. So it can be like maybe five to six words, like the best course ever. Okay. Then we can just select this and change this also. So it could be, uh, example, uh, some testimonial here 
Okay, it can be testimonial here. Then the name of the person, John Matter. Oops, yeah, make sure you select it correctly. Okay, and then the location. You can also add his picture here. We'll just double click in location, you just choose the file from your computer, and you just load it, and it will change the, the image here. Um, okay, and the same with the module is the same thing. If you don't want an image, just delete it. You just click and, and put delete. Click delete in your keyboard, and it can be about your module. It can, it's, it's more like a product box. It can be like module one, introduction, module two, uh, solving these five problems about dogs, and similar things. Also, I have an opt-in box. If you want to build your list, it's a perfect way. So you may change it. Um, now, in order to change it, you need to put an Aweber code here, so it does. It will require some coding. Um, so, if you don't know how to do it, you may hire some programmer on Script Lens for twenty bucks to do it for you. Uh, it's a bit, but uh, it does require some HTML coding. If you don't want it, just delete it. And then there's some bonuses. It's the same thing. It's another box. In my, in my design, uh, it's for bonuses. If you want to offer some bonuses to create an irresistible offer, that's a perfect place. Then we have a guarantee with a nice graphic. You want to change it, as you see, it's, it's a dummy text here, so you want to change it. And then, then there's an order, order button, so you want to change the link here. In order to change the link, you have to go to HTML tags here, uh, actually to source, and you will see here uh, bravingsidetemplates.com slash blank dot gif. You want to look for it and then there's href. Href is an HTML tag to create links. You want to change the hash code with your link. So if you're on a Clickbank, you want to get from Clickbank your payment link. So when you, once you click the payment link, it should go to the payment page. So here you put your, your payment link from Clickbank or PayPal, whatever you use for payments. And you put it here and you save it click save and then uh, and then it will be you know it will be linked so, so once someone clicks order now it goes to your payment page and then again you, you put your name here you can use PSs to increase your conversions you can add links uh, in order to add the links you just select this and click link and you put the link here and you see you've got the link I have also your order secure by uh, it increased the, the authority of your site and security. It does helps in conversion. Also disclaimer, you may change it. There are also links. You may change it to your existing links to contact page, privacy page, affiliate page, and there's a folder you may change it. So uh, that's basically how you change the uh, the website. Um, some of my me site have graphical headlines, graphical or graphical headers. So you need Photoshop in order to change it. Uh, if you don't have a popular of Photoshop or you don't know how to do that, hire some graphic designer on Warrior Forum, ScriptLens, Freelancer.com, like 10, 20 bucks. Uh, it's very cheap and you get a full new mini site for you know, pretty cheap, 10, 20 bucks. And you get very really unique, um, unique, unique mini site because these are not used very often as I didn't uh, offer it in many places. Uh, so your website will be very unique. Uh, so that will be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the good comments I got from you. Um, I, I, I'm glad that you liked my new site templates. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I'm always here to help you and I'm always listen to you what, what, what your problems are. And I'll always try to, to solve it and, and help you in, in some way. So thanks again for watching and let me know what you think.